my creators welcome back to my channel today you guys we are going to be making a salmon alfredo dish you guys so to start of course you're going to need about a pound of salmon this will feed maybe about two to three people depending on how much y'all get <laughs> and for my seasonings i have my garlic and herb mix i have some paprika some black pepper onion powder creole seasoning and some himalayan salt then you're going to need some pasta some lemons here some tomatoes if you want some italian cheese you can change the cheese if you like i have frozen spinach here you can do fresh spinach it's all up to you i have some extra virgin olive oil here i have a thing of cream cheese i have a tub of cream cheese and then i have some peppers here you guys so i have some sweet bell peppers here then i have onions and then i have some green peppers okay my creators let's get it pepper y'all Then I have some paprika. Hope you guys are doing good today. I'm doing cool. Today went by fast, y'all, but it went by slow. If that makes any sense. That was my garlic and herb season dish. And let's not forget the onion powder, y'all. Okay. So I'm going to be cutting my salmon in slices. Like I said, you guys don't have to do this part, but I'm going to because that's how I want to do my particular salmon. Because I want it to be, you know, enough. So I'm going to cut them in chunks. Okay. All right, you guys. And then I'm going to put a few slices of lemon just right on top okay okay and then you guys so I have my cast on skillet here and I'm going to just place my salmon right on that right in there okay i'm just gonna leave that cedar wood in there so it can bake through okay all right so i have my oven on 350 and we're gonna bake that for maybe about 15 minutes or so you don't want to bake your salmon for that long you don't want it to be like a fish stick so okay y'all to this alfredo sauce and y'all know it wouldn't be one of my videos if I didn't forget an ingredient, right? So we're going to need heavy whipping cream as well. Please remember that you're going to need that. Okay? All right, you guys. So let's get started. I'm going to use... Two cups of heavy whipping cream. Whatever this gonna give me, thanks gonna give me a cup in, then some. Okay. Like I said, I hope you guys are having a beautiful day today. I'm having a good day. Um, I just want to share a little something with you guys. I heard um, a little word today from, and that was to not allow pride to come after your peace y'all um and that hit me so heavy because i am a, well i'm gonna take it to the zodiac sign i am a scorpio and sometimes i can allow my pride to overpower my peace and you guys um life is short so i believe that we all should do as much as we can to protect your peace, protect your spirit, protect your energy, and to protect uh, everything that is going on in your life and everything else will follow. Um, no matter what you got going on in life, just continue to always try to stay positive, you guys. Um, I just wanted to share that little message with y'all. And 
I also would like to say thank you guys so much for watching my channel. Um, I believe in myself and I believe in my channel. I believe in you guys are so faithful. Thank you for coming by and just even clicking on my channel, y'all. I'm adding in butter here. So stay with me, y'all. Just a half a stick of butter. But thank you for even coming by and clicking on that channel, you guys. Um, I can see it. I can see where the Lord is taking me. And I haven't shared this with you guys, but I'm going to. Um, a couple of weeks ago, I got a call from my job that I've been in for 12 years. And they told me that the position that I was in was going to be closing. You guys, my spirit absolutely broke. And my spirit broke because after 12 years of giving this company my life, they decided to shut down the position that I was in. And it wasn't just me, it was a multiple uh, people. And I did not take it personal because it was a company um, decision. But 12 years, y'all, 12 years of, of, of your life and you feeling as if you were doing this you know for a reason you went in every day with a smile on your face no matter what was going on and you gave this company your all or at least i did in this perspective um but just to you know have a little piece of corporate and then it just be snatched away from you I want to tell you guys to go after your dreams. You know, a nine to five, I'm not knocking anybody that wants to do that. But every day, do something pertaining to your dream and what you want to do. You guys, when I was smaller, I loved watching Rachel Ray. I loved watching cooking shows, you guys. And I've always had a love for cooking. This just comes naturally. Um, I used to watch my father cook all the time. I watched my mother-in-law cook. And it's just a natural thing. I love feeding people. I'm the friend that everyone comes to my house to eat, you guys. So, um, long story short, just continue to um, go after what you want in life. And don't waste any time. Don't waste time, y'all. It takes time for your dream to build. But you have to believe in yourself for anyone else to believe in you. I'm a firm believer in that. So, if, if you want somebody to, you know... Excuse me, I'm putting a lid on this top here. If you want somebody to believe in your dreams, you have to first believe in it yourself. You have to believe that what you're doing is going to prosper. And you have to do it in a pros positive way. You know, not maliciously or any intent to hurt others or, or whatever the case may be. But you have to have good intent and everything will follow after that. I promise you the Lord is faithful. And more to the story is the Lord just gave me a piece of peace as I was driving and I was worrying about this and that and how this and that is going to work as far as in bills and trying to make it let's keep it real here um and you guys the Lord told me go after what you really want to do and that's to cook and inspire and that's really what I want to do I want to cook and I want to inspire people so this is my platform you guys and I believe that it's going to grow I know for sure that it's going to grow and I thank you guys for being here during my journey you guys so enough chitter chatter let's get back to this alfredo sauce thank you guys for staying with me thus far and listening to my story I appreciate that okay so we're going to put in our cream cheese. So, you guys, I've done this Alfredo uh, millions of times. Well, not a million of times, but a lot of times on my channel. If you guys watch me, you know the recipe by now. So, I'm going to put in a pound of cheese. Okay. And then I put in uh, four ounces of the cream cheese. Now, to that, you guys, I'm going to go ahead and put my spinach in. And again, I have frozen spinach. So, um, you can use fresh spinach. It cooks down all the same, honestly. But I'm just going to use the frozen spinach because it was on sale. <laughs> I'm not even going to fake it, y'all. So, of course, have your water boiling at the same time as you having your Alfredo on. And I'm going to use about half a box. So, that's about eight ounces of pasta. Okay, about eight ounces of pasta. Now you're gonna go ahead and let that boil for about 20 minutes, your pasta, okay? And then I'm going to go ahead and put in my spinach. 
And I'm just gonna leave this alone, let it do what it do. And guess what I did, y'all? I forgot something else. I told y'all it wouldn't be my video if I didn't forget nothing. Garlic. Can't forget the garlic, y'all. Can't forget that. So, put about a tablespoon of garlic in there. You guys, I get so excited when I'm doing a video, y'all. Kind of like when my baby does a video with me. Like kid at the candy shop, and I just love doing a video and cooking with you guys. Thank you so much for leaving comments and stuff like that. And I know a lot of people watch my videos. Please remember to subscribe. I have a hard time remembering to tell you guys to subscribe, but please, please subscribe. Okay, y'all. So we're just waiting on all of this to come together. I won't bore y'all with staring this. Stay tuned. So I have my butter in my pan here. And then I'm just going to saute my peppers just a little bit, y'all. Not a lot, but just enough so the crunch is just off of it. Just a little bit. And we're going to just put half of the onions in there because we're going to use this for something else. All right, so this is just going to kind of be for the garnish on the top. You're going to want to dice your onions. Just dice them up. Okay, after you dice them up, get you a bowl. Put them in that bowl there. Okay. And then we're gonna wanna put our tomatoes right in there. This is just the garnish. You guys don't have to do this part, but I felt as if this it's gonna be so pretty and it's a nice garnish for the top. Then I have some of my garlic and herb seasoning. Okay, kind of looks like a salsa, huh, y'all? Okay, and that's all I'm gonna do with that. I'm gonna put just a little bit of lemon juice on that. Okay, y'all, okay, so my Noodles are done. I'm gonna put some of this garlic and herb seasoning on here. And you guys, um, if you're new to my channel, just know that I do double my layers of seasoning, but I do not have salt in my seasonings, and most of them anyway. And if I do have salt in these, they're Himalayan salt, okay? So I did thin out my Alfredo just a little bit because it was a little too thick for me. And I want it to be more of a light and creamy Alfredo this time. So I did thin it out just a little. Okay, y'all. So I pour about half of that in there. And then I'm gonna put my pepper mix in. Okay. Ooh, that's looking good already, y'all. Oh my goodness, it's so pretty and so colorful. I just love veggies. I really, really do. Okay. And then we are just going to be waiting on our salmon. Salmon, salmon. <laughs> and I will show you guys what we're going to do to put it all together. Okay, y'all. So in the cast iron skillet, just put your pasta bake right back in that pan. Okay. So nice looking, y'all. Y'all hear that sizzle? It's like one of those sizzles from, um, what is that thing called? Applebee's. Okay. 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 And then, I'm just gonna sprinkle some cheese on the top. Okay. Whatever you have left. Okay, just sprinkle that right on the top. I'm gonna put this in the oven, 350. For about another 30 minutes or so. And I'm gonna show y'all how it looks. We're gonna get back. Now, I mind you, my salmon is still in the oven, so that's why y'all haven't seen it yet. Stay tuned. My creators, woo wee! Oh my God, look at this, y'all. This looks so good, man. All right, so. 
let's go ahead and put our salmon on the top, you guys. Okay. All right, so we're gonna put our salmon right on the top here. Mm -mm -mm. Look at that, ooh, just gliding right off. Y'all probably can't see this too good, and I'm sorry. But y'all gonna see it in just a minute. All right, so, oh, y'all can see it, cool. All right, so I'm gonna take this salmon right off the cedar wood. Whoa, ooh, 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 ooh. Wow, we look at that, y'all. Now, if that don't look good, I don't know what's wrong with y'all. That looks good. That looks awesome. You guys, let's go ahead and think what I'm gonna do is put my little garnish right in the middle here, okay? I want garnish right in the middle here. Okay. Wow. 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 <laughs> you guys thank you so much for watching my video please 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 don't forget to subscribe and comment and share my videos to everybody that you know let them know that this chick over here is throwing it down in the kitchen